Welcome back to Theme Park Wizard. I have special guest on Ruly Kenny. I'm doing great. I'm doing great. I'm uh, happy to be here. Uh, you know, like I was saying earlier, uh, I was a big fan of the channel because you were the most consistent updater of Super Nintendo World, and that was my most anticipated land, like, you know, of all time. Like, I love Star Wars land, but Super Nintendo land was like, oh, that's that's my thing. That's my jam. And you were, like, constant, like, you know, at least at least once a week, maybe more than m once a week. So I was like, oh, my gosh, this is here. This is there. So, yeah. Appreciate it. Oh, I'm so glad all that hard work paid off and oh, yeah. you enjoyed it. And my goodness, before we go on, I'm going to keep sh keep shouting out because this is the coolest thing. Look at all these games he has in the background, guys. He's a yeah. Twitch gamer, but he has like Mortal Kombat yeah. right over there and like four other games. And yeah, they're yeah. amazing. Yeah. It's some like Pac Man cool. going on back there. Love yeah. me some Pac Man. Awesome. And so your Twitch is unruly, right? U Correct. U R O L I E. L I E. Yep. We'll link it below. So oh, you cool. you stream um games? Yeah, lots, mostly fighting games and stuff like that. Um, um then like a bunch of other stuff as well. Uh so <laughs> like more variety, but I focus on fighting games and stuff. And I even done like streams from Universal on Twitch. You ah. know. So it's pretty cool. So some live streams every now and then and so forth. How many Twitch followers do you have? Or is it subscribers? Are they uh, followers? I, subscribers, I, I don't like subscribers. Like it always changes. Like followers are 74,000 on Twitch. And then like subscribers, like, you know, it's even months that like they go up and down and stuff because like a subscriber is like, you know, kind of almost month to month, right? Yeah. So your gotcha. followers and your subscribers. Yeah. So Twitch has both because I don't use Twitch. I tried, yeah. but that was so confusing for me. So yeah. you can follow. I guess that's for free. I'm guessing and subscribe is like yeah. A, a month yeah. Month. You get like the emotes, but yeah, you can follow for free and hang out and stuff like that. We'll play a bunch of cool games. Seventy-four thousand. That's incredible. Hey, follow hey. him on Twitch, y'all, because come on, we gotta get him to one hundred thousand. That'd be awesome. <laughs> So, and you're a big theme park fan, as you're talking about. Yes. You worked at Horror Nights for a while, and mm -hmm. so now you're a, a gamer and a, and a theme park fan. And then you have the perfect game theme park land come to yeah. life. Exactly. Yeah. So Horror that's that's what made me happy, world. and that's why me and uh, Dylan, you know, uh, connected. I mean, because you know we were friends and we like you know mm -hmm. theme parks. But he's just like, oh, dude, Kenny's like, I gotta connect with Kenny on this because he loves you know. The whole Mario franchise. He's a theme park guy and a video game guy, so that's when we like linked up and you know did some cool videos together. Man, so when you guys went in there for the first time, what was your reaction? Oh my How god, I, yeah, it's draw dropping. Like you know, as soon as you go to that, and then you just you know see that mission statement, you're just like, wow. And I think it's almost everyone's statement, just mm -hmm. like the kineticism just going in just like wow i think that's like oh, that's almost one of my favorite parts is just walking through that first part and just seeing everything it's it's so crazy yeah I'm, mm. every time we go in there i just don't want to leave yeah. i i was in there yeah. multiple times and it was raining just all day and i didn't really, yeah. didn't really do much but we just yeah. um they're just yeah. walking around and listening to the music and sitting down and watching mm -hmm. everyone has a smile on their face i see it oh yeah so great yeah, no, that first that video. You in the Mario Kart line with Dylan that one time. Yeah, that yeah. That hmm. first video we did, we were there from opening till close, and we had a blast. We did not mm -hmm. feel like, oh, you know, because that doesn't really happen in a lot of theme park lands, right? Like, you know, mm -hmm. I, we were there. I went to Star Wars and one of the so, like soft openings where you, you stay in the mm -hmm. hotel and you go. Oh, and, I did that. Yeah, you know, and then I went. I rode. Um, uh, what you gonna call it? Smugglers run a couple of times, like maybe one, twice, and then just walked around. And I'm like, that, you know, that was it. It's a beautiful land, but mm. you know, I couldn't imagine spending only an entire day there. And me and Dylan oh. spent the entire day in Super Nintendo Land and had a blast. We never really got tired of it. We're like, okay, we gotta go now. Yeah. In fact, my cousins who want to go, they're like, yeah. They're they're timing it out. They're like, oh yes, yeah. so we can Universal done in like six hours. Of this this this. And oh yeah, like Before, an hour. Yeah, exactly. And I'm like, all right, you can say that, but you yeah. know, 
fully utilized in Nintendo World. I don't think you'll be getting the Universal done in six hours. You'll probably yeah. want to spend six hours in Nintendo World, you yeah. know, because the games, wow, mm-hmm. the games yeah. and the achievements. Yep. Well, it really adds. It's really a second attraction, basically. Yeah. And I think, too, because that used to be universal. I used to take friends there and like, okay, hey, we're going to be done in a couple hours, you know, bing, bang, boom, and then head out. But now with Super Nintendo World, that's not the case because, you know, you want to get higher score. You want to probably do Bowser Jr. twice. You want to, uh, you know, and it's such a cool little um immersive thing right because potter has a bit of an immersive stuff with the wands Mm -hmm. but like this is like next level with score and you know it's it's so cool and everything you know everything is moving like i don't even Mm -hmm. understand that word just you turn around and something's moving no matter what whether there's a game whether there's an animatronic and there's this music everywhere it's like it's like what star wars land should have been you know oh yeah you might imagine if star wars just like that with the music and all the games Mm -hmm. Kind of empty and desolate and here yeah. it's a small space it's like packed with it's just stuff to do yeah yeah and like you know like i don't want to turn it to like oh this part but like i was a little like upset with, like with star wars because like we were kind of promised like this big immersive land was, and there was going to yeah. be like people that do emissions and, and stuff the like roaming that droids yeah roaming droids and like aliens and stuff and and it, it made me sad i'm like wow we got none of that now and then, now they just added like a, a wristband thing where you kind of do mm-hmm. something i've never done it i've seen a couple people do it but it's just like ah just like you know it's it's there's not really that much and i was like in the in the concept art like oh my gosh there was gonna like a jedi was gonna tell you to take this box and put it over here and do stuff and mm-hmm. there was ne- not none of that now good thing is hopefully and this is what i discussed with some of my other mm-hmm. friends I'm like you know maybe disney you know, we'll see the success of interactive stuff and just yeah. kind of, something that can easily add to Star Wars. And I think, oh, yeah, just, 100%. Even if you start off slow and just add stuff, I hopefully down yeah. the line, and it's not going to be that expensive, certainly less expensive than the brand new roller coaster. Yeah. Hopefully, can add some of that in and then Star Wars Land will go by 10 times immediately. It'll be super. No. It'll be a- awesome response actually to super nintendo World. exactly i mean they are they can figure a couple of cool things you know maybe to do with you know you know, with things more make them more interactive because there are like it is the game but on your phone but you it's really you know most people don't really know and it's like very kind of minimal and stuff like that because you know i'm pretty sure you've been to like knots if you ever go in ghost town alive ghost town alive oh, is a fantastic yeah. thing it, it's yeah. a little thing that happens every you know year but it's such a great interactive thing where you talk to people and you go on little missions and i'm like ah you know i think that's what's kind of missing right now from star wars even though we're talking about super nintendo world but like, <laughs> it's just because like super nintendo world gives you all this cool fun stuff to do <laughs> while you're in the land and i think you know i i would like to see that more in other you know yeah star especially wars. when when they you know when they said it you know yeah. <laughs> you know but uh you know, again, something can easily, yeah. easily, easily yeah, all the say multiple missions and smugglers run. And yeah. Four years later, we still have one mission, but it's all right. Yeah. Uh, um, but yeah, you know, the mini games, the ride. Yeah. What's your highest score on my O card? I think I got 180 because most of the time I focus too much on trying to get the secret blocks and I miss mm-hmm. a lot of the characters, but like you get a lot of points, but I found that if I don't focus on those hidden blocks, I get a higher mm-hmm. score. So interesting. Okay. Yeah. So my highest score is 137 and I see these people getting 200. I'm 200, like, 200 is shocking to me. 200. I see people way in the 200s and I'm like, how? And like, I've been trying to like, I mean, you're close. 180. Yeah, 180. Close. One yeah. more hit. You're there. Yeah. Like, yeah. How do you get 180? So I heard yeah. what, if you hit the Bowser team three consecutive times, you get a bonus. Is that that's what yeah. I've heard? Is that correct. Yeah, from that. And also, I'll tell you this, like, uh, to get the startup, because there's a startup bonus. So mm-hmm. when it goes three and two, mm-hmm. the two fully appears, you hit the triggers and mm-hmm. you hold it. And then you get the starting bonus, which gives you like 10 coins right from the start. Yeah. So, yeah. And that uh, achievement is d- stackable every day. So you do that. So when it goes three, two, you see the two fully light up, you hit the triggers and then just hold it. And then you get the startup bonus. So that's like one thing. Okay, yeah. that is good to know. And have you yeah. found all five startup or secret blocks? I've only seen yes. two. I've got, I've got them all. I found them all. 
and is there yeah, see because I like you know I'm the, the, the super gamer here, so I always have you to have, I know this is yeah. I'm sorry, you're like an expert. I have to yeah. come to you for the yeah. tip. Well, well, like one of these days we'll go and we'll like you know we'll drive and I'll be like look up there. We'll we'll go on the yeah. ride together and I'll I'll point them out. Is you know? okay. Does Rainbow Road have one? Uh, Rainbow Road does not. Uh, there's there's okay. one before when the Bowser, when you see the big uh, volcanic Bowser, there's one. I up, saw that one. Left. Yeah. Yeah. I saw there's that one. one and that's yeah, it. Yeah. There's one and kind of early on and it's to the left, like it's by a pipe. And some of them mm -hmm. you kind of have to like almost turn around and, and get and stuff like that. So oh, in yeah. the Rainbow Road section, mm -hmm. I don't know if it's just me, but when I looked to like to the right hand side, no, towards the, I like, guess the yeah. wall pipe. I always think I see something hidden in there. I don't yeah. know if it's a, a block or something, but like something. Do you? Is there something hidden in that? In I'm that gonna have movie? to take a look because I, I haven't really found anything there. But yeah, I do. Like if I look at my phone and the achievements, I did get all the hidden blocks. I'm only missing a few achievements on the Mario Kart ride. It's, oh wait, so what's your score then? Your overall like Nintendo score? Oh geez, um, let's see. Let me log in really quick. Super Nintendo World. I think mine's 11,000 something. Hmm. Which is very low. 37,473. <laughs> I have a lot of catching up to do. I'm still in 14th place. That's incredible. See, that's crazy. I know. I see yeah. all these YouTube uh, YouTubers yeah. up in the top 10, and I'm just like, yeah. I'm just slacking. How yeah, many really? times did you go? Um, a, a good amount, like not a, too much of a crazy amount, because like when that video of me and Dylan went, we just we figured out like some really cool ways to get like a bunch of uh, scores and mm -hmm. and you know like the big secret. Now I found other people. There's people that are destroying me, and I found out what it is, and it's single rider. Ah, uh, I love because rider. here's the thing: you could stack up almost to a thousand points per ride a thousand coins at least if you're consistent and you get like the highest score on both carts that gives you like mm -hmm. a ton of coins so you can you can if you're good on um, you can scat you can get about a thousand coins because with all the stackable achievements oh, that's wow. the fastest fastest method now i found interesting yeah because mm -hmm. i i like on, unless i'm with people i like only do single ride on my yeah yeah but no, and single rider is cool. It's that, like, you know, sh sh and it's neat too because if you've done it a bunch of times, it saves you a lot of time because you skip both of the um the pre shows. Oh my goodness, those are so long sometimes. The pre shows are long, yeah. And you know, for the ride, I, I really enjoy it. I like it as a thing. And like, but if like for me, I, I think it's great. It's a video game, but also like, you know, how you can do the visorless one too. Mm -hmm. I think that one's great too because you really don't get like when you're playing the game, it's fun. But mm -hmm. you really don't get to admire the ride itself and the uh, the sets oh, yeah. and all that Those stuff. Beautiful so, sets. Yeah. So I yeah. mean, I recommend at least once doing a visorless one just to really um, admire the whole mm -hmm. ride and the attraction and the sets too, because it's that it's a rare one where Universal has a ride with like you know no screens basically, you know, very little screens just for the background, but not like you know Transformers or anything like that. Yeah, and it's funny people may think you know with the Air goggles, but most of it is a screen, so you should definitely mm -hmm. yeah, take it off. And yeah. realize it's not all a screen; it's just really the the players and yeah. the, the coins. That's just it. The rest mm -hmm. is like right in front of you. Yeah, and but I really like the lava Bowser. Wow. Yeah, I think the lava Bowser our screen, but it's still yeah. a huge, beautiful, like incredible. Yeah. And lava the lava Bowser. Oh, yeah, and then the uh, Rainbow Road section. That part is oh, just super wow. wild. When it so just good. stinks, it goes black, and then all the road comes in, and it's, and it goes, yeah, it's super it flies over your head. I'm like, ah, and then it makes yeah. the sense. You get the real feeling that you're actually going fast, even though you're not. Yes. You get the feeling yeah. that you're like flying. I'm like, whoa. Oh, yeah. And other people, I don't know if you've had this experience, but I hear other people in sometimes my car that you're like, whoa. And they're like cheering. I'm like, oh yeah, yeah. Especially in that part. It's a it's a great transition too. Like I think that's one of the coolest transitions um you know for the ride and like a lot of rides you know just all of a sudden like you're kind of whooshing and through the dark and like the whole floor is lit up like rainbow road it's super cool mm -hmm. yeah and so which is your favorite mini game mini game um excluding I, bowser just the, the excluding bowser yeah um 
the clock is a lot of fun. You know, I think that one is neat because it's a, it's a really cool physical challenge. Um, mm -hmm. I'd have to oh, put yeah. it up I got, there. I got a lot of that one huffing and puffing. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> like, oh yeah, for sure. A lot of them you do, especially the thwomp challenge as oh, well. I can't do yeah. that by myself. I oh, tried. Fire stuff is impossible. I by tried. Yourself. I was like, shoo, 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 shoo. Yep. I was like, <laughs> yep. Can't do especially it. on the harder mode. On the harder mode, yeah. it's impossible. Like oh, me and God. Dylan, like we got it down to a science. Uh, you know, with two players and stuff like that, but. Mm -hmm. uh, even then, it's difficult because to get the bonus, you have to do it before the first thwomp oh, fall. So you have to do it like in oh, four, like less than four seconds to get the bonus. But two people, you have to be like, yeah, that is crazy. extremely hard because yeah, it yeah. drops fast. Yeah, and that's how Man. me and Dylan stacked up a lot of points because if you do it, you'll get at least a hundred coins um, by completing that with on the on the hard level and you'll get like a hundred coins. So me and Dylan, like, you know, during um technical rehearsals, it wasn't that busy. So we'd go back around oh, and stuff yeah. like that. For, you know, we are definitely spoiled, all of us. Whoever got to go. Oh during, yeah. Technical, oh, that was the that was the most fun time. And <laughs> everybody like kind of like just showed up. And and what's cool <laughs> because like, you know, people didn't like the you know, Universal was like, well, it may not be open, it may not. So that like that, mm -hmm. a lot of people didn't want to go and risk it, like, well, I'm not gonna go today. Mm -hmm just in case it's not open but man those days were fantastic and you know it's going to be a while before we see the land like that because yeah. you know here's the thing i used to work at universal day ops too and mm -hmm. like well, you know, and you um no i was a uh entertainment but you know like oh. um like you've been there like for a long time like you go there in a march or you'll go there in a february and the park oh, is empty minutes, just five yeah, minutes. everything is five minutes now you go to february and you go to super nintendo world the whole land is packed every mini oh, game is full. Like three hours yep yeah it's so wild so you could see the success of you know super mario that you know the world because you know back in the day it was a ghost town and now like you know, mm -hmm. March and February are popping in the Universal. Park is open till ten. I love yeah, it. it's never like been like that, especially during like this is called like this is off season right now. You mm -hmm. know, and yeah, for like after the, I think after this week, I saw for the rest of the month, it's open till nine and ten. I'm like, that's yeah. great, especially with daylight so cool. savings yeah. time. Too. Man, yeah. but yeah, those those uh, early uh, soft previews. That's funny. I saw mm -hmm. the same people there. <laughs> oh yeah. Now. <laughs> no, for sure. It was like a little party going on. It was just yeah. fantastic. No, it was a lot of fun. It was super cool. And and I'm like that, you know, that wasn't it. You know, they've added small things here and oh, there. Yeah, and yeah. Party. It was and even still they're adding little things. And I'm like, you know, it's glad that that was it was great during the soft opening. Yeah, yeah. And then it's even better now because they added even like small taupe berries by Toad's Cafe. Yep. That oh, was really cool. Covered up some of the gaps. It was like, because even better than it did before. It's fantastic. Oh, yeah. No, so it's cool. It's nice to see it continue. And, you know, and now, you know, you, you have your updates for Florida. And I'm excited for Florida. Even though I've been here, I can't wait, you know. Because, no. you know, some people are like, you know, like, oh, the Yoshi ride was like, you know, it's not that fun or it's like a kid's ride. But I, I still would like it because I think it adds more kineticism and it mm -hmm. eats more people for lines and stuff. Mm -hmm. And sometimes I don't mind a slow ride. I don't mind a ride where I could just sit and relax and people watch and, you know, just mm -hmm. go around and look at the land, right? It's, it doesn't I mean, have it's to like, it's be like a exciting. people mover, which yeah, is nice. People Everyone mover. loves the people mover. So yeah. I'm sure people would like some type of omni mover outdoor attraction here, yeah. too. But well, at least uh, at least we got pets. So that's nice. That's a nice yeah, thing. Yeah. <laughs> but Boy. my goodness. So the. From Japan, from I know we don't have the mushroom popcorn. Yeah, does that oh. sadden you? I know it saddened a lot of. People. Oh yeah. No, oh, yeah, I no, for sure. Like it, it was cool. We were hoping for the different flavors and stuff, but I got the popcorn buckets. I haven't got the Mario oh, Kart one I yet. Both. I was thinking about that, but yeah, the Mario Kart like... one was is dope. I didn't know that one yeah. lights up till I got yeah, it. Yeah, it was super oh, cool. It's blue. I'm like that's. Dope. Yeah. Keep in mind, I've never, I'm not a merch dude, so not even from <laughs> Disney or Universal. I don't of even have a single popcorn bucket. Not one, yeah. but I, the yeah. Super Nintendo one, the ones were so cool. I was like, I yep. gotta grab this one. I gotta grab this one. Yeah. It was incredible. Uh -huh. 
Yeah. And you know, that, that also made me happy for Universal because Universal like is stepping up their merch game because, mm -hmm. you know, like Disney popcorn buckets, like, you know, like, you know, they're super cool. And mm -hmm. now like Universal has, you know, with the, the star and the sippers and stuff like that. So I, I like it, you know, because then, you know, if those things are successful, then we get more, you know, cool buckets like that or, mm -hmm. or expansions to the land and stuff. So I'm like, yeah, you know, it, it's. Yeah. And they do it the right way. Cause you know, I was talking, we were talking with Dylan, right. When they sell those sippers or they sell those things, they sell them all over. The everywhere. Park. They don't everywhere. waste everywhere. They don't go like Disneyland and it's in one cart and you have to wait 45 minutes. Yeah. I mean, come on. Mm -hmm. I mean you probably would make more money that way. Cause exactly. There's cause there's more them. of it. Yeah. No. And you don't see people, re at least I don't see people reselling those on eBay because you can just get them anyway. So yeah, there's, like, and there's, a good, there's a good stock of them, you know? And, you know yeah. And like, yeah. It, it's better for the consumer, right? Because it's better for the fans and stuff like that, for people who really enjoy the stuff, right? You know, when you limit it and you put it to one cart, you know, then that's when you get the resellers and stuff like that. And then, you know, yeah, and then just waste people's time. Let's say someone's coming, traveling here, a tourist yeah. from a different state. They don't want to stand an hour for a popcorn bucket. Maybe they really, really want Mario Kart popcorn bucket, but they don't want to yeah. stand it three hours for it. Let yeah. them get it wherever they want. Hopefully Disney learn that lesson. Mm -hmm. But they seem to like the scarcity aspect, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, Universal's killing it on the popcorn buckets. And my mm -hmm. friend, actually, who's a, his channels og 55 you've probably seen him on the, this channel yeah. but he's if you have seen the videos you know he's a big disney guy super yeah. disney guy. even he he came out of nintendo world when i yeah. took him the first time with a, a zipper a power band and a shirt he spent 50 bucks there i'm like wow yeah. the disney man got all this nintendo <laughs> merch i was yeah. i'm still shocked by it everyone was and he loved it i was like that's incredible oh yeah so, a toad you hear that uh, Toad's toad. supposed to be coming into the park. Yeah. That would be cool. That would be neat. That would be amazing. I've also heard they're trying to work a Bowser character in there. That would, would be, be so cool. Amazing. Because yep. if you look at Japan, they have they have a Daisy and they have a um, Yoshi character, but in the parade. Oh, oh Japan's, Yoshi. Japan's, Japan's would... parade. Has Yoshi and Daisy. I'm oh, like, yeah, that new parade. That parade yeah. was super cool, by the way. Yeah. Like, goodness. But people would freak out over a Yoshi character. I oh, think yeah. they fall on the floor. Like, yeah. Yoshi's awesome. <laughs> no, no, for sure. And it, it, it's just neat. It, that's, that, that stuff adds to, like, more immersiveness. It adds to, like, more people, you know, you know, like, hey, more people are going to wait for Yoshi. And it opens up rides and stuff. So, mm -hmm. yeah. And what do you think about a possible Donkey Kong edition? Oh my goodness! I you know I've I've I keep up on all the news and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. You know the simulated track jump, and mm -hmm. I think right now, and I talked to Dylan about this, like with the success that the park is having, with people buying so much merch, the the lines being so long, mm -hmm. people, you know, I see families, and like almost everyone in the family has a power up band. So I'm like, mm -hmm. you know, Universal is like they got to go. Like, this is making money we, right there. Yeah, like we we have to strike with the irons hot. We have to start making another one, and that's the beauty of Universal. They work fast, you know, so they, fast. Yeah, when they work on a project, they are quick. So let's just hope that they really said, okay, you know what, let's do this expansion. Yeah, because I mean, yeah. it would sell like hotcakes. There'd be more mini games. Yeah, and then you have a roller coaster. Everyone mm -hmm. would love that. Yeah, this would be just the most popular. And we're back after a massive crash. And uh, <laughs> well, for re I repeat something. Sorry, it crashed. It's all good. So, um, so yeah, Donkey Kong. Right, yeah. We're talking a about cool Donkey Kong coaster. expansion. Yeah, you know, and I just hope that, I mean, I think there's enough room with moving of, um, of uh, you know, sound stages. Because they have moved some sound stages to, you know, the other side of the park. And mm -hmm. I think with a couple of a couple more sound stages you know it, it could happen because like you know those sound stages were made you know in the 40s 50s you know mm -hmm. some even earlier and now they're making these new state of the arts with offices built in so you know i'm hoping maybe we can get a few more moved and some more stuff for the theme park 
Yeah, uh, because uh, Coaster that jumps the tracks is uh, yes, quite right? exciting. Quite, yeah, but like, literally like the video game. Yeah, and like, but even though before, like, uh, before that, like you know, there's still rumblings of you know because those two attractions closed down. Um, mm -hmm. You know, uh, the animal actors and the uh, special effects stage show. So, the rumored coaster that's supposed to go there, um, which would be great because. I think mm -hmm. if Universal gets a cool coaster, it's really going to be like a, a full on like, you know, awesome, awesome park. I mean, yeah, it'll be yeah. a next level, next yeah. level. Yeah, no. because Jurassic Park, that coaster is incredible. It's one of the mm -hmm. craziest coasters I've ever been on. And Hagrid's too. So and I think it's done by one of those companies, uh, supposedly like the rumor mill, but. Mm -hmm. ah, that would be amazing. Yeah, and man, did you happen to see Universal's updated lands? Yeah, I just saw that. I saw you uploaded that, and so they had the names for the lands yeah, and so, so forth yeah. like that. Yeah, let's go take a let look. Me, at let, it. Let's share the screen because I'm curious what some of your thoughts. There's some very yeah. interesting stuff here uh, because <laughs> they say they have ten lands, which I think is hilarious. But. Uh, <laughs> Let's see. So right over here, we got... Because I believe the beginning, the, the first one is called Hollywood. Yeah, it's so when you walk lines. into Hollywood. And it's funny because on okay, here, so you city see, see the City yeah. Walk is a land. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yes. And then, but Minion Land. So they have Minion Land here. And of course, there's the pets here. Now, I'm curious. I'm, I was see? surprised that with Minion Land, I think something like, you know, Illumination Avenue or something, you know? Exactly, because it's Minion, but there's also Secret Life of Pets. So I definitely, yeah, Illumination Ave would have been, I think, a much better route because it's like it's a it's a little city. It's you know, like there's houses yeah. there, there's apartments, and yeah, I mean, Minions are hot, but like I, I think it should be go to the, you know, Illumination. Yeah, they're just dissing the pets over there. And then it even yeah. says a big illumination sign is just hanging up there. So, yeah. I don't know, weird naming. But they don't have any technical signs up there, so they can I yeah. guess, always change it to something. But, and then of course, you have always more of a part of the yeah, Hollywood. Right. What was this area called before? Because I just I, called you it know, Main Street. <laughs> yeah, this is the Main Street. And eh, I don't know. This, this looks almost more like a Buena Vista Street than it does a Hollywood. It doesn't. You know, it's an interesting name for it. It doesn't really give off Hollywood vibes. Um, you know, I, I think it could be like, I, I don't know. It's a, I think it's an interesting name, but I, I don't really see it being Hollywood because there's no Walk of Fame. There's mm. no, uh, you know, st st you know, the handprints or any of that stuff. So it's not giving me Hollywood vibes. It's more of like, yeah, I, I think it's almost like a. You know, it could have been like I think it could have been a studio center or something like that. I mm -hmm. think that maybe more because there's so much of uh, everything else. But yeah, it's more of their own Main Street. But I, I don't see it being Hollywood. Yeah, so I guess they I don't know, maybe they'll add something. <laughs> yeah, right. And then just one more production plaza. Oh, this see, I think it could have been just expanded. I think it, that could have been production plaza yeah, expanded right. all the way to the back. Yeah. Because it has to come with the same architecture anyway. Yeah, it's yeah funny, same like, architecture. Include uh, panda in here, but they yeah. have panda that's like the same architecture as kind of like the Hollywood areas. I don't yeah. know. And if you think about it, it's production plaza. Like the beginning has multiple productions, right? Like in the beginning, it'll mm -hmm. be Super Nintendo World, and then they have like the main store. So yeah. And I, I didn't actually even think that. That makes sense. That makes yeah. perfect sense. Man. And very interesting because you see here under the. Yeah. Entertainment, you see an animal actor. Here. Oh, wow, yeah. So, you know. maybe, yeah, I guess they're probably yeah. going to set up some kind of a stage. Yeah, you know. see, I, I don't know. I've been hearing that plaza renovation that's supposed to wrap up in May and include a stage or something, and maybe the animal actors come back for a summer type show or something. Yeah, especially for summer with, uh, um, you know, adjust with the crowd and so forth like that. Which be super nice because you know we lost two shows, so it is Universal Studios Hollywood. But you know, oh yeah, <laughs> yeah, uh, and that's uh, it's such a mobile show. You know, animals mm -hmm. they can move anywhere, so they can technically you can put it anywhere, which is great. And then Studio Tour has its own yeah. land. Super Nintendo, Nintendo. World, that makes sense. And see, this is another one. Transformers Metro Base, same name yeah. as the 
Beijing one. So it has Transformers, but they include um, they include. I mean, I guess the the meet and greet. I don't know if there's any. Yeah. But uh, yeah, they include the meet and greet and the uh, the gift shop. But they also yeah. include uh, studio studio cafe and studio scoop, which is yeah. not <laughs> not Transformers themed. It's kind of weird, right? <laughs> like um, unless maybe in the future they're planning to make those themed because yeah, it's kind of like there's a. It's like an L. It's Transformers, the, the gift shop, and then meet, um, you know, meet the Transformers. But those other things aren't really Transformers related. Yeah. And, of course, Waterworld. But then, you see, there's no Springfield, and there's no Mummy, and there's no Panda listed in any of that. Wow. Um, no Springfield, which Springfield yeah. is a land, and it's a good land. It's like a fully it's, themed it's land. one of the most... Yeah, it's, it's one of the most. Yeah, exactly. I, I did see your From review the of the lands. Yeah, I mean, it's yeah, it's, it's up there with like I mean, Potter because it's a fully mm -hmm. you know, immersive land with a lot of stuff to do, character and meet and greets, and yeah, they put it's that so on, on on Friday and they haven't updated it. Well, okay, it's still it's, it's hope, yeah, yeah, probably soon. Like they they gotta work on that because it makes no sense and then like you know like i i, I was I even commented on your video there's no parisian street and there's no well well they half of england the, uh, taken away which mccullough they included the new york stuff and the parisian yeah. courtyard they included that in the production plaza yeah land. oh okay so the production plaza okay yeah, that kind of just takes over i guess everything yeah. but yeah no springfield no mummy no panda very wow. interesting omission yeah. <laughs> right. Yeah. <laughs> Very. Maybe down there, no. you I, know, and I think it could use some cohesiveness, you know, with with, <laughs> with the park and and so forth like that. And it's funny on the app. I wonder if they're gonna do an app update because you know when they click on the right, it still yeah. says upper lot and lower lot. And yeah. The themed land. So I wonder if they'll do like a soon. They, you think they yeah. do like an app update or something? No, for sure. Lands. Um, it's very interesting, and yeah, yeah, but it could be a cool thing of signs uh, to come. Like maybe you know, Transformers; those two things get updated into more Transformers. Area. And you know, I'd be, I dig it. I'd love yeah. a, like a full fledged, even if they you know how you know Disney and Universal they you know they theme the pavement. You know, like Harry Potter yeah. has the cobblestone. Like if they made like a Transformery type of robotic pavement or something oh yeah and yeah maybe some lights and so cool. forth yeah like, yeah. yeah nice little mini land then you have nintendo world's pipe right there and then jurassic world and then yeah Mummies and then and with no mummy because then yeah because then like you know the mummy's the is sticking out a little bit yeah the outlier you know? right there yeah because um you know it's jurassic world and then there's the, the mummy like if it did get mm -hmm. turned into some kind of jurassic type uh coaster then yeah would you would have like a whole little land right there mm -hmm. so yeah, and I, you know again they put a water world and studio tour in their own lands and yeah. transport their own lands i don't think it's a i don't think it's a mistake that they may have left mummy out of that equation yeah right I, yeah it's like sometime in the near future yeah, I mean, I, I I think that's like a couple of things that you know Universal's missing, and I think they're like it looks like it, they are working on it, which would be great, um, you know. And one thing I I was thinking to myself, I'm like, I think you know Universal doing all this stuff, I think they need to step up their food game. You know, it's not like a dis. Or I, I think yeah, what's so popular in theme parks, like you go to Disney and bloggers, all they do is just they'll make videos on food, they'll make videos on like little cool things, like even Knott's Berry Farm has it, oh, and people started Berry. making blogs about Universal food when Super Mario World came in. Then mm -hmm. all of a sudden, there the bloggers are talking about the drinks, they're talking mm -hmm. about the Toad's Cafe, and I'm like. Universal, you gotta start like you know, really, you know. And think about it, the best yeah. food in Universal is three broomsticks and toads, and those yeah, are and toads food exactly food experience. So, yeah, food experiences, yeah. and I think you know Universal should work a little bit more on some of those other things that are not them. You know, make these really cool um, foods that people yeah. will you know want to Instagram and make videos about and stuff like that, and you know, yeah, and like, hopefully maybe next year or sometime. Bring their own type of you know food and wine festival, you know, yeah. like California Adventure yeah. has boysenberry and knots. You know, Universal yeah. they can do they can separate either upper lot, lower lot, or just keep yeah. it in one lot. 
and even just if you start small, you know, you can grow up big each year. Yeah, I think the food wine festival I, really pop off. Oh, no, for sure. And I think you know, you know, Universal has the uh, the means to do it. They have the they have a liquor license. They have a bar and so mm-hmm. forth like that. And you know, it'd be great to see more themed. Yeah, more themed drinks. Like they do it great during horror nights, right? If you go to horror nights, oh, yeah. and they have those cool themed bars. People love those bars. They're like really cool, and like they have even cooler food options. So mm-hmm. uh, you know, I think it would be great if Universal, hey, some themed drinks, some, um, you know, like for, to some of their most famous movies and so forth, like that. Yeah, I remember the weekend bar at horror yeah. nights, like a two-hour wait most of the time. Yeah. So. There wasn't uh, in La Cocina up there. It didn't have much yeah. of a at all. So, yeah. you know, the demand speaks for itself. Of course, of course. Yeah. And like, you know, and I think Universal is like kind of realizing it and kind of changing things now, especially with their popcorn buckets now. Like now, now it's, you know, not only it's a Super Nintendo, they have really cool Minion ones and so <laughs> forth like that. So, yeah, I think they're kind of s- starting to really get into there to the theme park you know other market you know which is yeah because you know there's so much again that's a lot more money to capitalize on as yeah. well you know you know more money and more stuff means more experiences and you know cooler <laughs> themes for the theme park so yeah mm-hmm. I'm, I'm i'm for it and and a chance for uh someone to maybe consider buying an annual pass when they oh yeah them. no for sure you know and Speaking of the Horror Nights spec maps, did you see yeah. that one? I saw a little bit of it, but not too much. But, like, it's so crazy how every year they get started earlier and earlier. It's shocking mm-hmm. because, you know, the previous, the old times, they would start, like, around, you know, maybe June, at the end of June. That's when you would see tents. And now it's literally, to me, it almost doesn't make sense because how long it went. You know, Horror Nights mm-hmm. went till like, like November. And mm-hmm. then they tear down, and then they start building in February. And I'm like, yeah. <laughs> you could just literally keep some of those houses there because, like, it's as been much that as long. In the uh, Curious George lot, they don't really use yeah. that at all. So. And I'm like, you know, Sounds unless like they're enough. drastically, yeah, unless they're drastically changing the layout, then I'm like, you can mm-hmm. keep someone like some there, mm-hmm. you know. But even yeah. if you change the layout, you can at least keep the tent up, you know. Yeah, and the then- tent, and yeah, just you know take the yeah. wood out and then yeah. saves you a step saves you a couple days yeah or you know just come up with a way to um you know to change it up and stuff like that mm-hmm. because dude speaking of horror nights the the year-round horror night uh um uh, in yeah. vegas coming to that vegas is, that's gonna be wild and it's i have a lot of friends that are kind of excited because they they, they are now like kind of creatives they're like uh they work in um you know with um auditions and stuff like that so you know there's going to be some universal people probably like you know going there to help and uh, set that up but that's going to be pretty crazy because um i think it's 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 a cool place to do it uh one play they tried to do it before but that was eli roth and he tried to do the Mm -hmm. goratorium but the thing is the goratorium was one experience and it was kind of expensive Mm -hmm. and it didn't really work out so great yeah this one sounds like much more fleshed out yeah much better it's fleshed out and it's near area 15 which is already a ma- like a amazing area it's so cool mm-hmm. and big that i'm like okay you know it, it's in a good business area because area 15 is a big tourist attraction now yeah a mega mart still trippy i can't oh that. yeah you you went to it <laughs> yeah i it's took so me cool. and I went back with my family and where yeah. my grandpa was like tripping out he's like what yeah is- you're right you didn't expect it like you know you just go into the supermarket and all of a sudden you go to the back and you're like holy cow this you know yeah, it's like, so cool yeah. Like, yeah. insane like i can't always yeah. see what else is not in complex because yeah, they do an amazing job in area 15 yeah. like you got a little like would that be considered a roller coaster or just a zip line that little yeah, motor like a zip line. line yeah a little zip line but yeah it's going to be really interesting to see what universal does um you know with a year-round attraction and i think you know priced right um Mm -hmm. and especially being next to a lot of other attractions i think it could do well you know i think Mm -hmm. some people were scared because of what happened to goratorium but it was very Mm -hmm. expensive and it was one attraction yeah and this would be at least three right yeah at least three with like a possible scare zone theme food i think and you know, with 
Orlando's um, Halloween Horror Nights. And if you go to the other stores, their tribute stores, their tribute stores are amazing. So I'm like thinking if they have some really cool tribute stores and themed bars like they did what they did in Orlando, it could be a really cool experience. Yeah, I can, I'm excited to check that one out. I'm yeah. very excited. Like, Nice. So you'll be covering it and checking it out? I sure will. Yeah, my, my yeah. parents are in Vegas, so I have a oh, nice. there quite often. So Okay, cool. I yeah, so, you know, visit them and then, yeah. Because, like, whew, 110,000 square feet, it's a big yeah. spot. Yeah. That's a big spot. Yeah, and, and if then, you notice that a lot of places are doing Halloween events earlier, I believe there's a scream, there's a scream spring break going on. So, oh yeah, Six Flags starts uh, next week actually. Yeah, Scream Break, I believe mm -hmm. is what they call it. Yeah, so it's it's kind of wild because that was oh, that was another attraction last year that did a, a mid like Scream um, thing. It was like at a uh, Pierce College. So, oh yes, I went yeah. to that. Yeah, my goodness, that was it was it was fun, but yeah, it was like managed horribly. I'm like, oh mm, sometimes goodness. that's what happens with those new things because it's yeah. like somebody they're like, hey, let's just try it out, and it's a first time thing, and it's by people mm -hmm. who maybe worked someone else but never really got to. Like it, it's some of those things where it's like maybe they try it the first time, but you know, it would yeah. probably need like, like to do yeah, it again like, and to learn from the first time. Yeah, I hope they bring it back. It was kind of weird because, you know, usually you go into a spot and you can wait yeah. in lines for each house, right? Yeah. This one was, it was like one constant line. So wow. Go in. So it didn't really, really work out because then. Yeah, because yeah, you wait in the line. You have to go in the first house. You can't just yeah. choose. There's three of them. You have to wait in line in the first house. And you go to that. They're really long, I must say. They're pretty long. Wow. And then you get out. Then you're back in the back of yet another line, all these people to wait until the second one. And each line is like 20 minutes. I'm like, whoa. Mm. And yeah. then you go to the second one, then you're back in. The, I'm like, that's kind of a weird setup, but yeah. the houses were cool. Yeah. I just I hope they should make it more traditional. If they do it again, they should. They yeah. should make it more traditional. Yeah. You know, and it was the same thing with like Shacktober too, like all these new things. So it's, you know, it, it's new and they and they have to, they hopefully they learn from the, but yeah, it's wild. Like, Lots of midsummer or you know early on scream like horror mm -hmm. attractions. So yeah, Halloween is taken out completely oh, yeah. popular lately. Oh yeah, big big conventions now every year, and um, mm -hmm. yeah, I mean, I, I I like to see it. I, I I like to think that you know there's room for horror themes all year long, mm -hmm. and, and yeah. So. And I mean, horror movies too. They usually do. Yeah, exactly. Movies. Horror movies come out all the time. So, yeah. you know, why not a really cool horror themed, you know, haunt and bar mm -hmm. and restaurant all year round? Yeah. I'm surprised they didn't you know, even think of that even earlier because, yeah, it's, oof, big business horror. Big, yeah, yeah. Big business. Yeah. Midsummer's Night, Midsummer Scream, I believe that uh, convention oh, yeah. sells cool. out and it's in a. Mm -hmm. uh, Long Beach and it does fantastic. So right in the middle yeah. of July too. Yeah, right in the middle of July and it's full and it's awesome. Like so, yeah. man, yeah, that was a I lost my wallet the last time, but it was oh jeez. <laughs> it was luckily someone yeah. turned it in with everything nice. in it. Nice, <laughs> that's awesome. But like the, whole, the hot people, the hot community are good people, you know. Yeah, they're so, so nice. Yeah. Like, wow. Yeah. And that room that they have with yeah. those hot okay. there's this one. Did you go last year? Yes. With the collection, the one with the castle. Oh yeah, yeah. That hot, that thing, that thing was scarier than some of the. Oh yeah, the... I've been in. I was yeah. there, walking through fog, and there's yeah. things sticking out of me. I'm like, what's yeah. going on? I like, no, no, yeah. A lot of people like are really good, you know, because it's just you know a new generation of haunt people, and they have mm -hmm. their super fans. So. Yeah, no, it's cool to see what they're doing, and hopefully, you know, Universal and all these other companies like kind of took notes and so forth. Mm -hmm. Yeah, true. Universal should hire those people, <laughs> right? Yeah, they're incredible, and because yeah. they're smaller and they, you know, have to yeah. about suits, they can like kind of go farther, which is really yeah, cool. man. Well, and so when is the next time you'll be at Universal? Uh, fairly soon. Like I'm gonna go see. I'm probably do one of these days. Um. I'll take my niece, but yeah, I definitely want to do another trip. I'm going to start 
you know, maybe before spring break or something like that. But uh, yeah, I'll, I'll message you and we're like, yeah, we'll go hit up and we'll we'll try to hit, get some high scores and stuff like that. We have to. We absolutely yeah. have to, man. And Mr. Unruly Kenny, thank you so much for oh, being yeah. on the channel. Oh, awesome. No, thank you for all the, you know, the updates and keeping us informed with all the theme park stuff. It's super cool. Oh, and thank you for watching. And this will be the first of many times you'll be on here. Which is Yeah, yeah. Well, I'm, I'm always down to talk, uh, you know, theme park stuff. It's, you know, it's one of my other passions besides, you know, gaming. Definitely theme parks. You know, I'm always hitting up or going to Orlando and stuff like that. So, yeah. Man. And we'll, we'll talk mm -hmm. Epic Universe, too, which is even more cool That's stuff. right. Yeah, Man, yeah. I've never been to Universal Orlando. I know. Wow. So I really hope you get to go because I it is go. it is amazing. It is like to me, it's one of my I think it's one of my just favorite, like well, the, the combo, both parks are <laughs> amazing. Like looks... Jurassic Coaster and Hagrid's Coaster are two of the best coasters I've ever been on. And Ooh, yeah, looks... normally, because like when I when I like I think of a cool theme park like Universal, I'm like, oh, coaster, mm -hmm. those aren't that great. But mm -hmm. Hagrid's and Velocicoaster are outstanding. I'm like, okay, I'm down for way more coasters like this. Yeah, they look absolutely super themed and yeah. super, especially Velocicoaster, yeah. super crazy. I'm like, yeah, Whoa. no. And it, and it's it was tough for me to choose which I liked more, Hagrid's or Velocicoaster, because they're both outstanding so now i have to i have to ask you a question are you a person that likes to watch ride throughs of videos before you go on the ride or do you like to go and be totally surprised i like to know what i what to expect so i like to watch okay. povs do okay. you? i don't watch povs because i like to go so i like to be fully surprised. surprised yeah fully yeah. surprised because like you know especially with hagrid i didn't know about it and man the surprise in that coaster was, was like whoa so it was so cool <laughs> So yeah, yeah. You know. I, I'm a I'm a not POV guy. And then once I go on the ride, then I'll go watch a POV again because it was just you know it was fun. But I, I usually like to go in knowing as little as possible. Yeah, see, and see again, I feel like also it's um, at least hard for me because usually yeah. if I'm covering it, like yeah, of course, the elements being built. So I'm like, oh okay, a bit, yeah, then, yeah. Then I'm like, oh my gosh, I can't wait to see the POV because I can't wait to see how this looks because this looks yeah. amazing and being out of control, yeah. like. Like uh, what you call it? Like the uh, Starfall Racers coaster. Yeah. Right. right? Yeah. Yeah. I know uh, that's gonna be super wild. Yeah, because like you know when it came to um, what is it? Uh, what's that? Uh, Rise of the Resistance. I'm like, nope. I just want to go in there and just see it for yeah, myself. Okay, that's yeah. the one I didn't watch. Appeal. Okay. See, there you oh, go. There you go. As I wait, this one's gonna be too crazy. I yeah. Have to see it by myself. Exactly. So like, yeah. Wow. Yeah. Incredible. So, okay, and, you can do a little mix and match then. Little for, mix, for and yeah. yeah. And still crazy that when the doors open, that big reveal of your yeah, your band. Oh, of course. Woo! Yep. And, I, and I did no POVs for Mickey and Minnie's Railway. Uh, How would you like that? One? I, that I loved it. That to me is one of my new. Uh, to me, that is a must ride in Disney now. I that, love it. Yeah, especially it's, the it's, conga portion. I was like, Whoa. Yeah, right? You're just like, whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> and it was a little bit rougher than I expected. Yeah, no, like, for sure, but it was fun. I was like, yeah, I was like, wow, we're really yeah. going. I'm like, this is great. But I think Keep it's up great. the roughness. Yeah. And I think to me that now is just like the must ride. Like now, you know, because for me, a must ride is pirates, uh, mm -hmm. haunted mansion. Those are like now, and I think minis, mm -hmm. Mickey and Minis is like those are like mini is, is, is a must ride at Disney because it's so yeah. outstanding. Yeah. And fun. Yeah. That was, and I don't, did you ride it twice? Uh, I just got to do it once. So and I got lucky because I, I had, we woke up at seven and I was refreshing oh, at the speed of wow. light. Yeah. I'm so glad you don't have to do that anymore. Yeah. You know, oh. which is nice because, yeah, because we've, so like, we've seen it because like the capacity and you know, the, the way I guess it moves, it, it does a lot of, it, it gets through a lot of people. So yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think um, yeah. I think it has as someone said it has as much uh, nearly as much capacity as pirates does. So oh yeah, and if it's pirates, mm -hmm. pirates just you know it, it yeah. always moves. Like it is say thirty minutes, and I'm like oh it's not yeah. thirty minutes, it's twenty five exactly. or twenty minutes. Yeah, but so yeah, enough. on my second ride, yeah. on making minis, 
it's it got it was better than the first. That's why I was wow. like, man, I ordered twice because somehow in the second one, I was like, wow, this was even like better. I don't yeah. have but good. <laughs> wow, that's cool. Yeah, I'll have to you know go. I, I know I'll probably head out to Disneyland fairly soon and and ride it again. But it's nice now that just yeah, you don't because you know like. That adds a little bit more stress to your day, right? If you're gonna like go to Disneyland yeah, and you I mean, have to yeah. worry about getting it Wake and you don't get it, and, boom. Yeah. and then mm -hmm. you have to either be forced to pay for it if you don't get mm -hmm. it. Like, you really and then even then, it. that fills up really fast yeah, too. Yeah, like, like 10, 11 a.m. gone. Yeah. So you have to like, do I pay for it or do I chance the one p.m. if I don't yeah. do that? I don't write it all. And I mm -hmm. spent two hundred forty nine dollars to get here. Yeah. <laughs> yeah and here's the thing you know we talked a little about we were talking about universal but like universal has a great uh reservation system i think better oh, than like fantastic. any other better than like disneyland and better than most theme parks because they change it as like when they change the capacity oh you know what mm -hmm. we have more room add more times okay mm -hmm. cool is that and we add more time so you never really like these are your two shots at Disney, and that's it. Universal's mm -hmm. like, just keep checking the app. We're going to add more times. And you're like, oh, cool. And it doesn't start like that. It, you mm -hmm. have the chance, if you go on a rope top, it's just walk in. And if you oh, come yeah. later, then you just keep checking the app, or you wait till the last hour or two, and usually there'll be you can just walk right in again. It's yep. not like you have one chance or two chances, and boom, it's gone. Because yeah, I remember so. there's sometimes, you know, Mickey and Minnie's had like, no line, but all the all – the, things were gone but you can go on it because if you didn't get one there's no line i'm like ah wasting, yep, yep. wasting opportunities here now oh, let's sure. just walk in thank yeah. goodness indeed virtual queues horrific yep horrific man <laughs> yeah so once again where can they find you at uh, right here, you'll see that on Ruli, and that's like on all like the social medias right there. Uh, you know, U N R O O O L I E, and you'll find me in all the social medias. And you know, oh, and yeah, I, you know, you can come by and hang out in my stream and talk to me live while I play some video games and so forth like that. So yeah, and you'll you'll see me from time to time in the theme parks as well. Heck yeah, you will. And you can find me right here, Theme Park, theme park Wizard. Wizard. Subscribe, follow, and subscribe to Unruly. Subscribe to me, Theme Park Wizard, and have a super day.